Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at Who You Say I Am by Hillsong Worship. Let's check it out. So for the guitars in this song, what we did is we looked at the multi-tracks and we noticed that there are just tons of guitars happening throughout this entire song. So what we did is we just stole from different guitar tracks throughout the multi-track and then we condensed them down into two parts. So this is what I play for the electric one part. So all you're really doing there for the first verse is you're arpeggiating through the chord progression. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pedal the root note of each chord. And in between each chord, you're gonna go back to this. It's the third and the fifth of that one chord. So slowly it sounds like this. So this is what I play for chorus one. So all I'm really doing there is I'm walking down the chord progression, starting on an F sharp, way up here on the G string on the 11th fret, and using this open D string, playing something that goes like this. And then you're gonna keep walking down, so you're gonna take your the 11th fret and move it down to the 10th. And then go down to the eighth. And then when the band does that, that quick chord change, you go. And then you go into this uh, lead line that starts on the 14th fret on the E string. Go something like this. 14 on E, 14 on B, 12 on B, 11 on B, back to 12, back to 14, back to 14 on E again. And all together slowly that goes like this. And then you play the exact same thing through the rest of the chorus, and then we're back into verse two. So for verse two, you play the exact same thing you did for verse one, and then that leads us into chorus two, where the chorus part changes a little bit. And so this is what I play for chorus two. So what we're doing for that chorus is, again, we're just following the chord progression, but we're playing these chord inversions higher up, kind of like in the first chorus, but with a little bit more energy. So what I usually do, I go to my neck pickup and turn on some delay and uh, another overdrive, but for this, we're gonna have no effects here so you can see what, I'm, see what I'm actually doing. So it starts on this F sharp chord, and you're gonna be going in between the D string, G string, and the B string like we have been through this whole, through this whole thing. It goes like this on the F sharp. And all that is is the 11th fret on all three strings, on the D string, the G string, and the B string. Then we're gonna go down to this C sharp inversion, starting on the 11th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G, and 14 of B, it goes like this. And then you're gonna to slide up with your index finger. Slide up from 10 to 11. And then when we go to the D sharp, we hammer on from 11 to 13 on the D string. So that chord looks like this. So that's 11 to 13, 11 on the G, 14 on the B. So the, the D sharp part goes like this. Back to C sharp. And then we play this B power chord essentially. which is on the 9th fret, the 11th fret, and the 12th fret. 
going from the D string, G string to the B string. And then we play that lead line again. And then we do that chorus again, and then that leads us into the bridge. So here's what I play for the bridge. So all you're doing there is you're just rocking out these octave chords. Starts on an F sharp, which is on the ninth fret of the A string, and the eleventh fret of the G. And then you walk it down to the eighth fret, and you slide up to thirteen, and you do this little walk up thing. You go thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. So all together so far we have. Walk it up. And then when the band goes to the tag, I play some chord inversions up higher on an F sharp, on the G string this time. 11th fret on G, 14 on B. And then you're gonna slide your index finger down to 11. And then you're gonna go to this B chord, which is 11, 12, 11. So the tag sounds like this slowly. And you do that twice. And that leads us into two more choruses and then a breakdown. So when the band goes back into the bridge after the breakdown, I'm playing a chord that starts on the 11th fret of the D, the 11th fret of the G, and then the 9th fret of the B. And if you're counting in 6-8, it'll go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. And then the fourth time through the bridge, you're gonna go back to those octave chords that you were playing for the first bridge. And that leads us into the tag, and then we do a little vamp section, and then we go back into the chorus, and you play the exact same thing you do for chorus two. And then that leads us into the outro, and then we're done. So EG2 doesn't come in until the first chorus, and we're just playing diamonds on open chords. So it sounds like this. And all that is, is I'm playing these like open E chords with the capo. So we're gonna have a bar right here. So on the A and the D string, it's barred on the fourth fret. And then I'm playing the G string on the sixth fret. So that's the one chord. Then we're gonna move on to this five chord right here. So I have the fourth fret of the A string, the third fret of the D string, and the sixth fret of the G string. Then we're gonna go to the sixth minor chord. So I have the sixth fret of the A string, the fourth fret of the D string, and the sixth fret of the G string. And then it walks down. So we're gonna go to the five, and that's just a, like a, a C sharp power chord right there. And then to the four right here. So this is an open A, and then fourth fret on the D string, and sixth fret on the G string. So from right there, we go into that U2-ish sounding turnaround part, and so that sounds like this. We're gonna double the lead guitar on a lower octave. And that's, it's a really simple part, so without effects, it's gonna sound uh, like this. So we have the open E, the open B, and then we do fourth fret on the G to first fret back to fourth fret. So it sounds again like this. From that part, we're right into verse two, and we play like this bouncy dotted eighth sounding thing. So it goes like this. So 
So one thing to make sure you play correctly on this part is having your left hand bounce on these frets. So without a delay, it sounds like this. Doing that mutes the strings and really makes that dotted eighth sound pop in the mix. So we really wanna make sure that we nail that part. So the part goes like this. We have our pinky on the 11th fret of the G string and our index finger on the eighth fret of the D string. So we're just bouncing right here. And then we come down to the sixth fret on the G string and the fourth fret on the D string. Then you drop your index finger to the third fret and bring it right back up to the fourth fret. So you play through that twice and then when it tags, we really dig in and we play those chords I taught you on that first chorus, just like this. And then we go into the chorus. Here's how I play chorus two. For chorus two, all I'm doing is arpeggiating through the chords in the progression. So it starts right here on the one chord. I'm playing this E major shape, and the pattern goes like this. And then we switch to this five chord, and it kind of walks up like this. So all we're doing is sliding our index finger from the third fret on the D string up to the fourth fret and back. From there, we go up to the six minor, same pattern, to the five, same pattern, and to the four, same pattern, so it sound like this. And then we go into that turnaround that I taught you earlier. From there, we're onto the bridge, and this is how I play it. We're really just jamming on this part. The song's really starting to build. So it starts right here on the six minor chord we learned already. Then we're gonna move up to an inversion of our five chord. So we have a ring finger on the eighth fret of the A string, and then we're barring the D and the G string on the sixth fret. So it sounds like this. And then we move up to an inversion of a one chord. So we move our ring finger up one fret to the ninth, and then our middle finger on the eighth fret of the D string, and then our pointer finger on the sixth fret of the G string. So it sounds like this. And then we move down to the four chord that we learned already, like this. After the bridge, we play a couple choruses, and then it comes down into this instrumental. And EG2 plays this little part through the instrumental and then through the first two times through the bridge again. And it goes like this. And that part just repeats over and over again. So this is what it sounds like without any effects on. And all that is, is we are on the fourth fret with our middle finger and our ring finger on the D and on the G string. And then we have an open B string. So it goes like this. Then we're gonna play the D string again, then G on the fourth fret, and then we're gonna bring it down to the E. And then we play the first pattern again. So all together it sounds like this. And then in the third and fourth time through the bridge, we just play those jamming chords that we did before, and then we play through another chorus and we end it out. Thanks for checking out our video today. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. You can also see our signal chains and all that down there as well. 
And if you're on Instagram, make sure to check us out at Worship Tone Lab. We'll give you a follow back, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>